Hey there, fellows. So in today's episode, we'll be conducting an experiment. We've already tried a bunch of see-through stuff. Let's make a radiator this time. We can pour some water into the system, start the engine, add a bit of dye, and get an idea of how the liquid circulates in there. That's something nobody has seen. Let us know in the comments if you have. I know I haven't. All right then, let's make that radiator and do a bit of testing. Let's do this. We make a transparent radiator. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so we've pieced together and installed that transparent radiator, and the only good way to connect plexiglass to regular glass that we could think of was using windshield sealer. It's what they use to stick windshields to a car, and it is a lifesaver. We did smear the tubes a bit, though. Anyway, we got it hard-mounted. Everything is hooked up and ready for us to pour in some water and see how the whole thing works. Let's get to it. There it goes. Look at it flow. Oh wow. Holy cow. Look at it bubbling in there. So first we try running it with the thermostat closed, of course. Okay, so the water pump is pulling the liquid out. We can see the level dropping significantly. Guess we'll have to top it off then. So far it seems like we won't see much. The reason being... For there to be circulation in the large circle, we need... There are two preconditions. First of all, the system has to be full of coolant. Second, the thermostat has to be open. Because the radiator is part of the big circle. Though there is a tiny valve in the thermostat that allows liquid to go back and forth, but it's so tiny that its main purpose is basically to allow the air to escape. Okay, I guess now we wait. The engine is gonna get warm, the thermostat will open, and we'll see what happens on this end. We did flush the engine, in order for there to be less dirt inside. But I highly doubt we were able to make it perfect in that regard. And so we're gonna see everything that gets expelled from inside the engine. What with this being transparent and all. So we'll observe the radiator for a little bit. You can already see the dirt from inside the block finding its way in. And also the radiator... Well, it is taking a while, but it is... Wow, the entire thing is warm. These thin tubes... Oh, wow, that's hot! Holy cow, the plexiglass isn't nearly as hot, but the regular glass is scalding. That tells us that the thermostat is open. Yeah, you can definitely see that there is circulation happening. Yep, the thermostat is open. Yeah, look at that flow. Yeah, the water pump really gets the liquid going. And the current is becoming ever more intense. Do you see how it's increasing? Oh my! It is flowing fast. It's moving like an actual river. Look at that. Impressive. Very nice. The water pump is working at full tilt. The thermostat is wide open. That is one hell of a current. 
It is circulating fast. These tubes have gotten extremely hot, unsurprisingly. You know, I think that... In order to paint a clearer picture... Switch it off. Why don't we drain the system, fill it with a bit of fresh water, and find the right moment to add a bit of dye into the mix. Let's do this. Okay, everything has cooled off. We are filling the system with cold water. We leave a bit of room for us to add some dye. I think we should start with this nifty blue colored one. We should see it very clearly. Okay, pouring in the dye. You want me to pour all of it? Then again, there's not much of it anyway. Is it full? Yeah, that worked out beautifully. Okay, now it's full. Starting the engine. Okay, it's running. And now we wait. The liquid is currently going round the short circle. This will show us how much actually makes it past the valve. But until the engine warms up and the thermostat opens, we won't see any blue water on this end. Five minutes later. The water level just dropped. I take it the thermostat is open. Yeah, see that? The thermostat opened up. The thermostat opened up, the water level dropped, and the dye is coming in. But that drastic drop in level tells me we had air in the system. And once it was purged, things started to happen. So it opened. You know what? It looks like it didn't even close back, likely due to the small volume. Wow, it is such a cool thing when you can see all of this happening. So it's filling the radiator and finding its way back out. The circulation seems to be intensifying. See how it's like a kind of vortex? Apparently the flow rate through these tubes is increasing. That tells me the thermostat is opening wider and wider. There it goes. The liquid over here is already murky. Fantastic. And there you have it, that's how it all works. We just had a good look at how the liquid circulates, and we still have a few more colors that we haven't used. So let's add a bit of yellow to the blue, shall we? All right, we've added the yellow, fire it up. We've also added a bit more water. Okay, the thermostat hasn't even closed yet. Man, look at it go. And it's about to make it all the way. There we go, now it's all green. So a bit of time has to pass for the thermostat to close. And eh, no worries. After all, we did see the change happen immediately. Sweet. It used to be blue, now it's green.
Okay, fellows, so check this out. We were able to make a transparent radiator, we saw the liquid circulating inside, and it all happens real fast. The water pump really gets it going. The flow rate of liquid through the radiator is really impressive. Honestly, we were expecting for things to happen much more gradually than they did. But that wasn't the case by any means. The rate of flow was such that... Like, wow. Yeah, you look after your radiators, guys. Keep them clean. Don't allow your cars to overheat. And while well, we saw it all, it was great. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.